The Russian Revolution was a series of political and social upheavals in Russia that culminated in the overthrow of the Tsarist autocracy and the establishment of a communist government. It occurred in two main phases in 1917, the February Revolution and the October Revolution. Key Phases of the Russian Revolution February Revolution, March 1917 in the Gregorian calendar. Context. By 1917, Russia was facing severe economic hardship, food shortages, and military failures in World War I. The Russian people were disillusioned with Tsar Nicholas II's rule and the immense loss of life on the front lines. Events. In February, according to the Julian calendar, March in the Gregorian calendar, mass protests erupted in Petrograd, modern-day St. Petersburg. Fueled by strikes, food shortages, and widespread dissatisfaction with the government. Workers, soldiers, and peasants joined the demonstrations. Outcome. The unrest forced Tsar Nicholas II to abdicate the throne on March 15, 1917. This marked the end of the Romanov dynasty and over three centuries of Tsarist rule in Russia. After Tsar Nicholas II abdicated on March 15, 1917, he and his family faced a grim fate. The Russian royal family, including Nicholas II, his wife Alexandra, and their five children, Olga, Tatiana, Maria, Anastasia, and Alexei, were initially placed under house arrest. House arrest. Following Nicholas II's abdication, the family was placed under house arrest at the Alexander Palace near Petrograd, modern-day St. Petersburg. Despite their captivity, their conditions were relatively comfortable at first. Relocation to Tobolsk. In August 1917, the royal family was moved to Tobolsk, a remote town in western Siberia. This relocation occurred after the Bolsheviks rose to prominence following the October Revolution. Tobolsk was chosen to keep them isolated from the political chaos of Petrograd and Moscow. Final transfer to Yekaterinburg. In April 1918, as the Russian Civil War escalated and the Whites' anti-Bolshevik forces gained ground, the Bolsheviks feared that the royal family might be rescued by their opponents. They moved Nicholas, Alexandra, and their children to Yekaterinburg, a city in the Ural Mountains. They were imprisoned in a house owned by a local merchant named Ipatiev, known as the Ipatiev House, or the House of Special Purpose. Conditions were much harsher here, with stricter confinement and limited contact with the outside world. The execution of the Romana family. On the night of July 16 to 17, 1918, as the anti Bolshevik forces, the Whites, approached Yekaterinburg, the Bolshevik authorities made a paper decision to eliminate the Romana family to prevent any possibility of their rescue. Execution. In the early hours of July 17, 1918, Nicholas II, Alexandra, their children, and several loyal servants were woken up and told they were being moved for their safety. Instead, they were led to the basement of the Ipariv house. The family was lined up under the pretense of a photograph, but suddenly, a firing squad entered the room. Yakov Yurovsky, the commander of the execution squad, read a brief order stating the family was to be executed. 
the soldiers then opened the fire, killing Nicholas and Alexandra first. The children and others were killed soon after, though the execution was brutal and disorganized, as some of the children were shielded by jewels sewn into their clothing, requiring multiple attempts to end their lives. Disposal of the bodies The bodies of the Romanovs were taken to a forest outside the city. Initially, they were buried in a shallow grave, but the location was kept secret for many years. In an attempt to conceal the killings, their bodies were doused with acid and burned. Provisional government After the abdication, a provisional government was established, initially led by liberals and moderate socialists. However, it was ineffective in addressing the key issues of the time, including the ongoing war and land reforms. October Revolution, November 1917 in the Gregorian calendar. Bolshevik rise, the provisional government's failure to withdraw from World War I and implement reforms led to growing unrest. The Bolsheviks, a Marxist faction led by Vladimir Lenin, capitalized on this discontent. Lenin returned from exile and advocated for peace, land, and bread, the withdrawal from the war, redistribution of land and food for the people. Revolution. On October 25, 1917, November 7 in the Gregorian calendar, the Bolsheviks, backed by workers and soldiers, stormed the Winter Palace in Petrograd and overthrew the provisional government in what became known as the October Revolution. This was a nearly bloodless coup. Outcome. The Bolsheviks, now in control, declared the formation of a Soviet government. They immediately withdrew Russia from World War I, signing the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk in March 1918, ceding vast territories to Germany. Key figures Vladimir Lenin, leader of the Bolsheviks. Lenin played a crucial role in both orchestrating the October Revolution and shaping Soviet policy after the revolution. Leon Trotsky, a key Bolshevik leader, Trotsky was instrumental in the revolution and later served as the leader of the Red Army during the Civil War. Tsar Nicholas II, the last emperor of Russia, his abdication in 1917 marked the end of the Romanov dynasty. He and his family were executed by the Bolsheviks in 1918. Civil War and Aftermath After the October Revolution, Russia plunged into a civil war between the Reds, Bolsheviks, and the Whites, a coalition of monarchists, liberals, and other anti-Bolshevik factions. The Russian Civil War lasted from 1917 to 1923, ending in victory for the Bolsheviks. In 1922, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics USSR, was established, solidifying communist rule. The Russian Revolution fundamentally reshaped Russian society and had a profound impact on the 20th century inspiring communist movements worldwide and leading to decades of Cold War tensions after World War II. Thank you for watching the video, The Russian Revolution, provided by History and Current Events. This is Gina, Lily, Sarah, Bill, Brian, and Tony have contributed so far as narrators. Thank you.